Hello and welcome to episode 287 of Bobo Scrabati Records. Yay. Yeah, so another week and still early days in 9.15 for me. So still kind of not quite got all of the mods that I like to use working and things. They're mainly visual things like um, some colorblind stuff because as you guys know my eyesight's not very good so I kind of use a few things to be able to see things better. It's one thing that I've found really difficult with Armoured Warfare is that it's all so very colorful and there's lots of bushes and it's quite fast moving and stuff and a lot of the time I just can't see what I'm looking at. It's it's weird so I tend not to do very well in that but uh, hence one of the reasons why I play a lot of artillery and World of Tanks. Um, yeah, so I thought we'd carry on with um, the armour piercing experiment and try a few more of those. So I was going to pick a few more vehicles. I'm not really sure on the ones that, that players generally choose to use armour piercing rounds with. So we're just going to kind of, I'm going to pick and choose ones that I think might be, you know, candidates for. So I thought we'd start off in the M53 and 55, which by the way looks bloody lovely. Really does. These are these models are just wonderful. They do a really good job. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to start off with this. We've got six arm piercing rounds with this, and then maybe we could try the T92, Mr. Splashy. Now you know how accurate he is. Um, I even thought about maybe trying like the GW100 or something like that. Um, there's there's quite a few to try anyway. So yeah, let's start off with this and see what happens. Live Oaks tier 9 match. Two artillery on our side and two on theirs. We have an M12 and an M53 and 55 and we've got a Lorraine 155.50 with us. I really like that machine. That's one that we're going to have to buy back. He's a good giggle. Especially in his own tier. Right, well we'll start off with the high explosive round that we've got loaded seeing as though uh, it's in the one slot. And we'll sit over here. I'm going to slip, sit fairly far forward as well. I don't normally go here, so this is going to be interesting. We could have a look to see if we could spot any of the artillery. Something down there, so one of the artillery could be sat over that way. But there is a T10 been spotted. It's probably going to be worth us lobbing a shell in his direction. Let's wait for the same time to come right in. So, shot away, and that went over his head. <sighs> Righty, -o, no worries. On to the armor, armor piercing rounds. Hmm. Okay, a light tank. Hmm, probably not going to happen. And a scorpion. They're fairly quick as well. Really good fun to play though. That T10's been spotted again. T34 headed around the back there. BK as well. Hmm. We could have risked a shot there, couldn't we? I was looking at the map rather than the screen. Bugger. Okay. Let's get move around a little bit more then. So that T34 is pushing his way over here. It's coming through this bit. There he comes. If we had a high explosive round, I'd fire it in his direction. Right. So he stopped. Ah, it's actually an object. 430. Shot away then. And that fell right in front of him. So again, if that was a high explosive round, that would have dealt considerable amount of damage. Back over this way slightly so we can get shots on him again. There's an M103 over there as well. Don't feel that I'm going to do very well with armour piercing rounds in this match. We'll try. So there's T29. Definite chance of penning him would have thought. He does have a fairly trollish turret though. Shot away. That fell right next to him. 
Again, if that was a high explosive round, that would have done considerable amounts of damage to him. Well, we've got four left, so we might as well give them a go. That VK's in a good spot for us to not hit him. M103, T29 still visible. A few seconds left on our reload, so let's wait and see. Maybe we could get something on this M103. Okay, shot away. Ooh, blimey. 1,176 hit points. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Maybe we should have given these guys a hand a little bit further on. Well, let's, um... Let's get aimed in over here and see if our light tank can spot one of these guys. They are quite a way away, so how accurate we're going to be, I don't know. It's not looking too good, is it? Let's go back over and help out with these guys. Let's try and get aimed in. The VK is really difficult to pen from the front. I know that much. Okay, he's sat in a good place. The M103 is heading round that way. Hmm. Okay. Do you think he's going to try and... No, he's going to sit there fairly well. Protected. Hmm. So we can see what gets spotted then. Here's the M103. BK's been spotted again, but we're. Oh, gee. Look at that. Should we. Let's risk it. Screw it. That hit the building. Not too surprising, though. Really. Could always move further back. get right over here we might be able to get round on him we've still got two left and then we'll go back to our high explosive rounds there's a t-34 he's been spotted we were in a better shot to hit the t-34 from where we were Lorraine's managed to take out the m12 which is good VK's right in a spot where Oh blimey, let's try and give our little light tank a hand then. When the likelihood of us getting turned around and aimed in in time is going to be fairly slim. Okay. Shot away. Did that go in? That almost looked like it went in, didn't it? Hmm. Weird. Right, well, one armor piercing round left. That T-54 is going to spot us so easily. wonder if we can get by this house, whether it will give us a little bit of cover. See if we can get shot down on one of these guys. No, we have been spotted. See if we can get out of the way rapidly hmm okay we're in a dip hmm I don't know what spotted us from here we're now in a difficult position to be able to actually get shots on people Okay, well we can try. Oh, and that hit the house. Alright, well, now we've got high explosive rounds. Where is that T-54? He's one that could come up at us. The little M41 Bulldog must be one of the people that are spotting us. Okay.
Hmm. We wait, try and shotgun him. Don't really want to help the Leo out. Ooh! I wasn't sure that that was going to work. But it did. Awesome. Let's try and get out over this way slightly then. Try and get away from that T-34. I don't know what our leopard's bloody doing. Let's have a quick look before he drops off spot. Okay, he's moving back. It's lucky we've got high explosive rounds now. Thing is, he could be anywhere. By the time that we get this loaded. Hmm. Let's take a speculative shot anyway. 38 seconds. We're going to have to go down low and see if we can spot him. Not too worried about this um, T-34 up in the corner. Oh dear. 18 seconds to go. See if we can get a spot on him. We have. He's taken a shot, so let's see if we can. Damn it. Damn it. Never mind. Good game. So there we are, that was a defeat as you saw, they managed to cap out. Tell you what, really felt like a little bit of a waste, didn't it, some of those shots. Where they landed really close to people. We could have done a considerable amount more damage than we did. We still managed 1,952 of our own damage. We did hit the, uh, the T-54. And we hit the M103 for a ridiculous amount of damage. So 3 out of our 10 shots actually landed where we wanted them to. But most of the way out the damage table there. <laughs> and on XP, even though it was a loss. Hmm. Weird. Okay, ten, 10 shots fired. Three direct hits with two pens. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Well, let's try some. We've got four with the, uh, the T92. And I'm not really willing to try too many more than that. So let's go out with the four and we'll actually give them a go. And see what kind of happens with this one. It's massively inaccurate though. <laughs> okay, so Karelia. Two artillery on their side and one on ours. That's us. Quite glad we've only got the four armour piercing rounds. I don't really feel too comfortable trying them really. But, uh, but we will. For the sake of experimentation we will try them. I'm going to sit over this way, kind of the J1, H1 kind of area. And then we can get some shots across here, because I expect some of the medium tanks will come up here, around there, and sit over this way, try and get up here to shoot round at some of the heavies. The other option, I suppose, they've got is to head on round this way, now that this area of the map's all been opened out. It's all a lot different. I'm going to sit too far forward just for the time being. So there's the leopard lip. Oh, we actually have a high explosive round in the spout now, so... We'll throw this one away. Hopefully hitting one of these guys. And then... Uh, then we'll head on to the armour piercing rounds. Okay. Should have taken that shot there, but didn't. Oh, that's surprising. That went very wide. All right. Well, we'll let this reload happen then. We'll try one of these armor-piercing rounds. Shame wasting an armor-piercing round on a lightly armored target like a medium tank, but uh, I just want to give them a go, really. So. Okay. That E75 is in a good spot for us to not hit him. The leopard's no longer being spotted by any of our guys, which is a shame. The Jagdpanzer E100 up north there. Could always give him a go. So 
So hopefully I've moved the hull far enough that we can get inked in in time. You can hear our camo net come up there as well. Right, so... Shot away. That went in. Whether or not that did any damage or not, we'll have to wait for the end plates to be able to find out. So if we start to head back, then if these guys push on round, we should be able to get some shots on them. We need to give this T57 heavy a hand. While he's on reload, we need to try and hold them back slightly. So just keep an eye on what's going on here. As soon as our T57 heavy is on reload, then yeah, or not, he's just going to get taken out. That's a shame. Okay. Hmm. Trying to get a shot on a medium tank that's got the potential to move out of the way of the shell quite quickly is difficult. Right, let's see what he's going to do here. Keeping an eye on the map down south as well. And that fell short anyway. Damn it. Okay, let's get further back then. We can get some shots round on the guys pushing down the south there. Push forward slightly more. We've still got two of these armor piercing rounds left, so. Give them a go. ITO. Let's get aimed in over here then. This is where we could do with a high explosive round, couldn't we, for sure? Two seconds. Oh, blimey. Well, there we are. Was that 1,310 hit points of damage? So when these armor-piercing rounds do land, they really do hurt. Hmm. Okay, these heavies are <laughs> managing to fend off this little M41 bulldog. There's uh, there's the artillery. Looks like he's going to take a shot. Oh, that was fairly hefty. But he has been taken out. Okay, lots of tank destroyers left. And we've been spotted. Let's get moved. Okay, there's another light tank coming up behind us. Or well, now in front of us. Conqueror could potentially get a shot on us. See if we can back up enough to get a shot over the rock to him. Oh dear, that's battle system view. Hmm. Yes, we're in a really bad spot there. Ah, oh, Negro 15 managed to take us out. So what I was trying to do was get the hull up enough to be able to get the gun down on the Conqueror, but as you can see, when it's close range like that, battle system really goes a bit screwy, so it didn't really help us out too much there, did it? But, uh, okay, well, it's not looking too likely that we're going to win this, but you never know. We'll leave it there and see what happens. And we'll have to check out that shot on the Agpanzer E100 to see if, uh, see if that actually penned or not. So there we are, that was a defeat. Ah, but we managed 2,967 of our own damage. Two out of our four shots actually landed where we wanted them to, on target. Now, we know about the, um, the shot on the Leopard was 1,310 hit points of damage. That penned, obviously. And the Jagdpanzer E100, 1,657 hit points of damage. That's crazy. I think this is probably why people tend to try and use armor piercing rounds when they can. I mean, that's a ridiculous amount of damage for a one shot. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so second on damage. And quite a way up the XP table on a loss, though, so still not very much. Hmm. 
4 shots fired, 2 direct hits, 2 penetrations and 1 splash damage. Hmm, wonder what the splash damage was on then. Weird. Yeah, we made a loss because we copped it and we are running some hefty premium consumables to try and help with the uh, the aiming and the turning and all of that kind of thing with the very inaccurate T92. So, a little bit of XP there. Hmm. Right. Well, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Let me know what you think about these armor-piercing rounds. Very strange. It's all a bit odd. Maybe this is something that, during the global rebalance, that uh, this is going to be addressed. Very strange. Hmm. Indeed. Right. Leave a like and stuff if you enjoyed. Really helps me out and helps the channel and stuff like that. So, spread the word. Let people know about the general day-to-day -day playing of artillery and what it's actually like. Send them my way. That would be really good. <laughs> so until the next one.